hello friends in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to build a automatic slash manual irrigation system aka smart garden with this setup we can monitor the soil moisture through our smartphone and also the app sent notification when the moisture goes very low so without wasting any more time let's get started First of all, we need a moisture sensor. I'm using this one. This is a LM393 compatible based one. It has four pins, VCC ground, digital output and analog output. We are going to use the analog output. Working of this sensor is very simple. The analog value changes according to the conductivity of that lead. That means moisture. When moisture increases, the conductivity also increases. Next, a single channel relay board, but I don't have a single channel, that's why I'm using two channel relay board. Next, we need ESP8266 node MCU board. Next, we need a water pump. I'm using this submersible 5 volt pump. Connections are very easy. First, let's connect moisture sensor to node MCU, ground to ground, and VCC to 3 volt, and analog output to analog input of node MCU. Then, let's connect relay module to node mcu vcc to 3 volt and ground to ground and relay input pin to digital pin 1 of node mcu now let's connect pump to relay module you can download schematics from my blog i'm using a external 7.4 volt lithium ion battery for pump I placed everything in a plastic box. Now let's upload code to our ESP. Code is also very simple. First I included the Blink library then BSP library. Then we need to include the Blink token and Wi-Fi credentials. The setup section I defined the pins. Then I used uh, blink virtual write function to send the data to server. That's all about uh, programming. Rest is in the app. After uploading, let's set up the Android app. First download and install blink app and then open the blink app and click on new project. Give a project name and select node MCU as bot and click on create. Now add a gauge button. This gauge button is used to represent the moisture. So I gave the moisture as name and selected pin as V5. Do the same as like me. Then arrange the gauge button. Next add a button and select D1 because we connected the relay module to D1. I gave name as pump. To get a notification from map we need to add the notification button and also add eventer button so after that click on add new event when moisture v5 is lower than 10 turn on pin d1 and also send notification you can edit notification there i added pump actuated as notification and also add one more event when moisture v5 is higher than 15 10 of d1 that means whenever moisture goes below 10 the pump will automatically turn on and app will send notification and also whenever the moisture goes higher than 15 motor will turn off test circuit i have three glass of soil here 
to change the moisture content i added water to it so now we have three glass of soil with the different moisture content now let's test it first i placed the probe in dry soil you can see here moisture is zero and next in the second glass that is in medium range top shows little bit moisture now i placed in the third glass that is wet it shows high moisture value now i connected a tube for water pump Now you can see when I tap the on button in app, you can see the pump is working and also you can see when I place the probe in the uh, dry soil, the motor is working. So when I place the probe in wet soil, the pump get deactivated. So this is for today, hope you got some ideas about smart garden. If so, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.